We all wanted a good Super Bowl, and we got it. Got a great one. First half wasn't that interesting, but that second half and that fourth quarter in overtime was No doozy. question about it, but I give them credit where credit sure. is due. The game was tight Dan, throughout, so that's what you want. Yeah. yeah. I think they were tight throughout. Yeah. <laughs> that's, a good point. that's a good point. All right, let's get into it, fellas. So the Kansas City Chiefs are world champions following their 25-22 overtime win over the Niners. This year meant even more, not because the tight game or the OT, but the adversity. Patrick, Travis, the floor is yours. It's the most special one I think I've ever, ever gotten. Ever. I mean, just really? to battle through ever. that adversity yeah. and then the, to come through that and be better on the other side. Um, I, oh, I, Pat I, Mahomes I, can't uh, play on the road. Yeah. Yeah. Pat, we got we to uh, go up against the juggernaut of the MVP. Yeah. And the Baltimore Raiders. I, I actually, and we heard it all, baby. All we did was just circle those wagons. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> there you go. Okay. That, uh, fire me up, you guys, baby. You guys have to be down by 10 all the time. Is that the deal? I, I like to just get Just like, like you like it, right? If you, like, you get down like 10. Like a three-goal lead in hockey, baby. If you get down 10, it would just wakes, it wakes us up just a little bit. It kind of gives us that spark that we need. And, uh, I mean, if we, if, I mean, we can make it easier sometimes. But, I mean, what's, what's the fun in that? <laughs> Patrick Mahomes is putting himself firmly in the GOAT conversation. He now has three Super Bowls, two regular season MVPs. Only Tom Brady and Joe Montana have done that in NFL history. And Mahomes has done it before turning 29 years old. All right, now we welcome in my guy, Dan Orlovsky. Good to see you, sir. How are we doing? I'm fantastic. How are you guys? Excellent. Uh, Shannon, I'll start with you. Did Mahomes uh -huh. prove he's the GOAT with that performance last night? No, no, he just proved he's the best quarterback currently playing in the league, and it's not close. The gap between one and two with Patrick Mahomes is greater than the distance between two and five. So let that sink in. Yes, the distance between one and two, the best quarterback in the league, which is Patrick Mahomes, and whomever you believe to be number two, there's a bigger gap between one and two than there is two and five. And you look at what he's done, 333 yards passing, two touchdowns, one of five quarterbacks that have at least a... Uh, uh, Three super have uh, 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 what one of five quarterbacks in the yep. league. The three Super Bowls: Brady, Montana, Bradshaw, and Troy Aikman. Yep. And only Aikman and Mahomes had it at twenty uh, twenty before their thirtieth birthday. Yep. It's just it's how he does it, guys. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think Dio, when you you know you played the position and me playing in the league and Stephen A. You following the game is how he does it. I we we ash track down this stat in playoff games down by seven or more in the Patrick Mahomes era. The Chiefs are 9-2 and two in the postseason. The mm. next best quarterback since 1950 is Tom Brady at 10-11. and 11. Yeah. He's gotcha. seven games over 500, and everybody else is under 500. He's the best. We can put that to bed, but it's how he does it. It seems like when the moment gets at his greatest, at his apex, he's able to relax a lot like Brady. And I'm saying, uh, uh, Dio, we talked about this. And Stephen, and, we, and I, we talked about this early in the postseason. Sure. When you have the momentum, you better put as much separation as you possibly can between you and the team that you have the momentum against because they're going to get the momentum. And when they get it, if you haven't put enough separation between them, you're going to be in trouble. And that's what happened last night. In that first half, the 49ers, instead of being up 10-3 or whatever they were, uh, 10-3, I think, they needed to be up 17-3. They needed to be up 20-3 because you had so much momentum and it seemed like everything, three and out, three and out. And the one drive that it seemed like the Kansas City was going to put it together, Pacheco fumbled the football. But for me, I am not going to be a prisoner of a moment and because I believe that Patrick Mahomes, what he did last night was sensational. But he's not the GOAT currently. He's just the best quarterback in the league and there's a greater distance between him and two than two and five. Go ahead, D.L. Patrick Mahomes is the best player I've ever seen. Now, greatest of all time is still Tom Brady. I have been adamant about yeah. that. Just because of the way that we have the conversation, he's going to have to get to five. I have said that since he mm -hmm. won his first one. He gets to five and continues to play on the trajectory that he is. He's, he's going to be very much so in that conversation with Tom. Tom is still that guy, but he's the best player I've ever seen. I, I think, Shannon, for me, Stephen A. Molly, he's the guy that defies all the logic. You just rolled off some stats, Shannon, about what his record is in the playoffs and then down 10 or whatnot. The, the, the most fascinating aspect of it for me is he continues, like he's in that world, Shannon, you know greatness better than I do, but he's in that world where like now it's, I'm, we're going to find questions about him. We're going to nitpick all of the course. things. Trade away Tyreek Hill, probably can't win without him, does that, and then now he's got to go on the road. Two. They won on the road versus the number two, the number three, the number four, and the number six ranked offenses in the NFL and beat them all. Now, part of that is the credit to the defense. I think they win the Super Bowl 
I've said that all morning. They win the Super Bowl because the defense. Yes. But if you think back to that fourth and one play last night, we were in the booth, me, Chris Fowler, and Lewis Riddick calling it for Australia. And Fowler goes, hey, what's the call here? And I was like, gosh, <laughs> I don't know. And Lewis goes, just put the ball in Patrick's hands. And I'm thinking, yeah, fourth and one, shotgun, certainly. They go out, fourth and one, shotgun, and he makes the right decision. And that's a triple option in many ways. And then if you think about the third and one scramble, you know, again, third and one, let's run the football. Let's go get a conversion. He puts his foot in the ground and, and goes and gets the run. And the, the, the crazy thing, it, the game winner to Miko Hardman last night, guys, that ball snapped with like eight seconds left on the clock. If they don't make, let, let's say for some reason he, he, he runs and is short or whatnot or he runs around, there's, very, there's, there's a chance that, you know, they don't even get a field goal off. So you're talking about in the moment, again, just, you know, everybody else coach-wise call a timeout and they don't, they just trust him. Well, I think y'all going on an overview of perspective. I don't disagree with anything either of y'all have said, but I think that we need to, we got to compartmentalize and answer the question directly, did last night prove anything? Uh, no. It proved he's great. It proved what, that we, what he is what we all thought he was. Prove what we knew, we, huh? we, We've seen Tom Brady do that before. Yes. We've seen Joe Montana do that before. Correct. And so when we look at it from that perspective, we have to take that into account. I will remind you that great Joe Montana is 4-0 in Super Bowls with a 27.8 passer rating. Okay? We've seen him. By the way, think about this for a second. And there's a number that I want to throw out to you, D.L., because I think that you – or a stat that I want to throw out to you because I think you'll greatly, greatly appreciate what I'm about to say. Do you know of Joe Montana? You too. Joe Montana's four Super Bowls. Do you know three of those Super Bowls came against the resident regular season MVP, mm -hmm. Kenny Anderson in Cincinnati, Dan Marino, and uh, Boomer Esiason? Mm -hmm. They were all regular season MVPs. Tom, uh, Joe Montana beat them. And the one other person that he beat was John Elway, who's a Hall of Famer. Who was also a, an MVP. There we go. So, so we're talking about Joe Montana that. here. So yeah. when we're talking about the GOAT, the greatest of all time, we can have that debate for another day, even though I look at it from a totality standpoint and say, excuse me, look at the resume or whatever. What we saw from Patrick Mahomes last night was absolutely sensational when he counted most completed 70% 70, 70, 70 of his passes in the second half with the two touchdowns and what have you. Last two postseasons, 7-0 and record, 70% completion, 13 touchdowns, just one interception. These are phenomenal, phenomenal things. But when we talk about the GOAT, the greatest of all time. What we're looking at is a talent that we haven't seen from that no. quarterback position. I thought Not it was that. Solved. I thought it was Aaron Rodgers, obviously, until he came along. Then he comes along and you see something totally different. Mad love and respect to him for that. But in the end, what it comes down to is when you look at it, yesterday, for three and a half quarters, for three quarters, essentially, they were struggling offensively. Yes. He came on strong. He showed what he's capable of doing. He's reminded us of greatness, mm -hmm. okay? And he deserves mad credit for that. The best talent we've ever seen at the position. But in terms of GOAT status overall, a little bit of longevity comes into play. Don't go the next decade without a Super Bowl championship like Brady did. But maybe the best of all time. Yes. But if you look at what he did last night, it's very similar to what he did last year. Possession. Score, 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 score. Remember last year, Dio, he got yeah. touchdown, 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 field goal, game. Score, 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 score. He has to do that. Mm -hmm. And if you look at what they're doing, and the 49ers are playing unbelievable. They're getting after they're him great. with four. They're pressuring him. And I was like, oh, here we go again. All of a sudden, the offensive line is not holding up like it had did in the previous right. three, po uh, three postseason games. Yeah. But when you just look at him and what he's able to do, the way he's able to remain calm, and granted, the defense played unbelievable last night. They've been unbelievable. That's why they've been, in the, been able to go on the road and do what they've done. Mm -hmm. It's because of that defense. But the same way with Brady. The defense would hold you in, hold you in. Okay, Tom, go be Tom Brady. Now we ask the very same of Patrick Mahomes, and he doesn't disappoint. I mean, I, it's not, I, I can't say enough about yeah. it. We can talk about Brady. We can say Joe. But not at this age. He's right. so far ahead yeah. of where they were at this age. That's what we're talking about. They've been great pianists, but when we see a guy that can play Chopin and play uh, the, these great classic uh, uh, songs at 10, now that's a whole different ball game. He's only 28 with yeah. three Super Bowl MVPs three, and two regular season MVPs and, 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 and two 5,000-yard passing seasons, and he's 28. That's what separates him it, at this age compared to everyone else. It's the best, spark, uh, it's, it's the best start in sports history.
Okay. It, it's him or Tiger Woods in right. that conversation. Shannon, you just talked about it, the, the calmness. Uh, again, we were in, in the stadium last night. They were shell-shocked early on in that football game. Shell-shocked. If you watched, the defense was able to run off on and off the field. Nothing from the offense. It, it looked yeah. like the offense was just trying to, like, get through the game candidly in the first half. Didn't look that way from Patrick. Patrick never flinched. He never blinked. Even after he throws that third quarter interception. Th this is why, Stephen A., I do think last night he proved something different than what we had seen. Again, he came in and it was this physical phenom. Last night was about game managing. L last night was about the mind. Mm. Multiple checks at the line of scrimmage. The decision making, it was, Stephen A., he checks Two times on third downs, the plays where he changes is at the line, both in the the, the, game, the the end of fourth quarter drive for the field goal and the game winning drive. To understand the context of their season, guys, matters here. They didn't have a thousand yard wide receiver. They didn't have a thousand yard rusher. They led the NFL in drops. They led the NFL in offensive penalties. And they're Super Bowl champions. They were two and three in the month of December. I think they what week sixteen or week seventeen they got. Dump trucked by the Raiders. They did. To, to go, I mean, that that's this is a different Super Bowl win. The journey and also last night, again, to be down by 10 to a team that had yeah. controlled loaded. the football yeah. game. Well, I yeah. mean, they loaded. That, well, that, that's that's well, different. last word here, guys. I, I, I would say this to you. Fair enough. But I would like to remind y'all that in the four Super Bowl appearances Patrick Mahomes has had, they've been down. 10 points each game. In other words, it's a comeback. Like, I understand as you dissect it, you're seeing things that most people wouldn't see, D.O., and you too, Shannon. Mm -hmm. But oh, from an overview perspective, we saw a 10-point deficit in every single Super Bowl he has been in. So he has found a way to come back, but it's almost a routine. What you're highlighting last night is you dissect it. What you're saying is so different. We're saying, excuse me, Tampa, uh, not, not Tampa because you got blown out in that one, but yeah. against Philadelphia, against San Francisco before that, you were down 10 in those games as well. You came back against them, so it was not a surprise that you did it again yesterday.